This is Charles Martel. Well, a much later artistic representation of him. For Charles was alive during the 8th century. But who was he, and why have I chosen to do a video on him? Well, Charles Martel was a military leader and statesman who led an army of Franks to victory over an invading force of Muslims at the Battle of Tours in 732 AD. As Tours lies in modern-day France and the battle took place a full three and a half centuries before Pope Urban II called upon Christians to retake the Holy Land, just what in the name of Allah were Muslims doing there? They'd certainly not been invited over for tea and crumpets. You see, the Muslims were part of the Umayyad Caliphate, one of the largest empires that had ever existed, who had recently invaded and conquered the Iberian Peninsula. Led by Abdul Rahman al Ghafiqi, they crossed the Pyrenees into Gaul with the intention of expanding the territory of that second great Islamic caliphate. Rahman's defeat and subsequent death put paid to that ambition. So you see, not only did Charles Martel's victory at Tours lay the foundations for the Carolingian Empire's domination of Western Europe, Charlemagne was his grandson, it also prevented Christian Europe falling to Islam. Perhaps we should all raise a toast to dear old Charles Martel and his fine victory of 732 AD. But then, some might consider such a display as Islamophobic. After all, what's wrong with living in an Islamic state? Little footnote. Charles Martel's tomb lies in the Basilica of Saint Denis, a Parisian suburb that is almost completely dominated by Muslim immigrants. Somewhat ironic, don't you think, Monsieur Macron? Monsieur Macron? Hello, Macron? Oh, he's off again. <laughs>